Hello and welcome to Off My Shelves and in this episode we're going to be looking at Upgrade Soul, the Collector's Edition by Ezra Clayton Daniels, published by Omni Press, so we will get underway. If you're a fan of science fiction or all, then Upgrade Soul is definitely going to be a book that you should be interested in, I think, because it's very grounded, realistic take on a science fiction premise is thoroughly entertaining and good. But before I get too far into the story, as ever, we will look at the build of the book. Now, the book comes as a standard trade paperback size. So it's the same size as your standard trade paperback, standard hardback, it's not oversized. It is really well bound, sewn binding, great binding. The paper is a matte finished paper and it's called the collector's edition, but I'm not too sure in what way it is a collector's edition necessarily. There are a lot of extras at the back, but outside of that, it doesn't seem to be like limited edition or unique gigantically. So I think it's just a fun way of saying this is the hardback version, but I haven't read the trade paperback version, so I'm not sure how different this version is to that trade paperback because it has been released in trade paperback and it has been released first and foremost as a digital comic. In fact, if you haven't read this yet, I would highly recommend you jumping on the app and downloading that and reading the first chapter or so for free because you can do that. Though it is a very different reading experience, it was what drew me into this story initially because the way the app is created, it doesn't give you a full page view, it's all panel view and it goes in to the dialogue and overlays a little bits of animation and music and lots of other things going on. And it's really an immersive comic experience really. It almost felt weirdly, if anyone's ever played like point and click games, it felt like one of those in a weird way because it was so unlike a normal digital comic experience. But equally you weren't solving puzzles or anything like that, you were just reading, but the way it was structured. I'll try to put a screen grab of the app on this video right about now to show you basically. So Upgrade Soul, the story is all revolving around our two main characters, Hank and Molly, and they are in later years. Hank has inherited a character created by his father, and he's a writer. Molly is a doctor, and they both are at a point in their lives where they want to make some sort of change, where they feel they haven't made a big impact on the world. So when the opportunity of a scientific experiment comes along. Hank invests a lot of his money as an author into the project and the project essentially is called Upgrade Cell and it's all about making you the best you you can be essentially is how the doctors in this book put it. So they're using gene therapy and other things like that and to basically create a better more functioning and better functioning person out of you. And so basically it's giving you a rebirth, doing away with all the health issues that you would have experienced, doing away with a lot of the trappings of life and creating you anew. But it is nowhere near as simple as that, unfortunately, because as you can tell from the first opening pages, the operation and the procedure goes very wrong. But they find themselves in a situation where they wake up and they're totally deformed in different ways. They've got gigantic heads, underdeveloped bodies, and essentially they are kind of like almost undeveloped fetus, but in large forms. But what makes this story really special is it explores what it is to be you. And if you were suddenly put into the body of another being, would you still be you? What would be your wants? What would be your goals? What would be this? What would be that? And that's just kind of surface deep look of this story really. There's far more things going on below the levels. As you go forward, you realise that the procedure itself is quite barbaric and quite intense. But it turns out that the process actually creates a duplicate you that they 
put all of you into and then nurture into existence and then with the original you they slowly put you to sleep and then you become this new you without knowing that you've actually been murdered and you're reborn and so it's a really complex kind of science fiction narrative and it's so layered with things going on it's brilliant the artwork in here by Ezra Clayton Daniels is perfect for the story as well because it really is that kind of slightly off normal realistic artwork that is brilliant for this story because it matches the world that is explaining around it that everything is not quite right everyone is a little bit damaged and a little bit torn in different ways really so as the book goes forward it jumps back in time looking at Hanks and Molly's decision leading up to putting themselves forward for the operation or the procedure the story is great because you see how this new version if you will of Hank and Molly evolve and change and adapt to the environment and you look at the old version of Hank and Molly as they change and adapt and struggle with the environment and and it's a real interesting book because you basically are putting these four people in this confined space of this area where they have in the operation and just seeing how it works but then taking other things like other people's opinions other people's views on the situation whether they are better whether they are worse whether they should be this should be that and it's just got a real great pace and story to it really and the characters just drew me in massively and it also gets to a point later on where it kind of almost becomes slightly like a thriller when you don't quite know what's going to happen you don't quite know what person is going to do what it becomes very unpredictable and that quite shocked me because he was going along like a really interesting science fiction story but grounded in quite a lot of reality as well but then he threw in this kind of unknown uncomfortableness with how the characters are going to react to these extreme situations so it became almost like a thriller as it went on and yeah it's a fantastic book I think really well worth a read on every level the extras at the back go from creators notes to other kind of stories behind the creation of the book and of the app and it also shows inked pages and other things like that in general what you would expect from a range of extras really i think but yeah that is a look at upgrade soul the collector's edition by ezra clayton daniels published by only press and certainly if you like a little bit of dark humor to your books a little bit of science fiction and a little bit of thriller ness to your books then this is definitely one that you should pick up i think but thank you very much for watching and i will catch you on the next one